Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and both the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge are receiving the official Android 7.0 Nougat update. I actually just got the over the air update on both of my T-Mobile variant S7 and S7 Edge. And with that being said, there's a lot of new changes, some new features, uh, looks wise, it definitely looks different as well. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that's new with the Android 7.0 update on the S7 and S7 Edge. Let's go ahead and get started. And I will be doing a revisited video on one of these two devices. I'll throw my SIM card in it and make an updated review video. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do, the Edge or the regular version. You can drop a comment if you have a suggestion or you'd like to see one. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to show you that I am on Android 7.0 Nougat on both of these devices, Android version 7.0, you can quickly tap it and there is that quick Easter egg. First of all, taking a look at the lock screen, really not much different. You do have a phone icon and a camera icon there, quick shortcuts that you can swipe up on, and you'll see notifications are transparent until you act upon them. So once you go ahead and act upon them, they become less transparent, which I really like. It's a really nice little animation, and of course the fingerprint scanner works very well still. Now next, swiping down, you'll see up at the top, overall, aesthetically, it looks a lot different. You have a brightness bar, you have some quick toggles that you can just tap and activate or deactivate. You can use two fingers still to activate all of them or swipe down twice to get to all of these quick toggles. And you have a couple pages that you can edit as well. You can change the order. Uh, you'll see up at the top you have a search phone and scan for nearby devices, a quick voice search as well. Pressing these three dots is where you can actually edit these. You see here's your Easter egg, here's nearby. You can just press and hold and change the order of them. And of course, whichever ones you want uh, up at the top are the ones that uh, show up when you just swipe down once. Now there's also a way to customize the grid. So you see button layout, you have a three by three grid, you have a five by three grid, so you can have a lot more or four by three. So here's a look at the five by three, a little, uh, a little bit more compact, still have a lot more into one little page, so you might not have to even swipe over. So that kind of uh, condenses it. And nice to have that option. Uh, of course, if you'd like a little bit more bigger icons, you can just go to button layout, Go to three by three, and there you have it. Next up are notifications. So pulling this down, you'll see I have a quick Hangouts message, and there's a quick reply option. So you can swipe down to uh, expand it, and you'll see the reply buttons in the bottom right. You can tap it. You can go ahead and type a quick message and send it off. And without even opening up the app, you can go ahead and do so. Now, uh, you also have bundled notifications. So you'll see there's a little arrow that you can tap to expand and contract these notifications. You can also use that one finger or two fingers to expand them. And when they are bundled, you can act upon them individually. So if I wanna go ahead and read one of these emails, or swipe it away, I can, and I'll, of course I can delete or reply them or swipe them away as I'd like to. So bundled notifications is one of my favorite features on the new update. Finally, one more thing, if you swipe over partially, oops, I didn't actually mean to do that, but if you swipe over partially, you'll see a settings button pop up where you can go quickly go into some app notification settings. You'll notice the launcher is very similar with the horizontal pageanted pages. When you press and hold on a specific app, it'll bring up an option to either disable it, uh, app in quickly go into app info as well or uninstall if you can uninstall that specific app as far as some of the stock apps go you do have a new dialer at least a new look to it so here's a look at that and of course you'll see on the right you have a context tab and conversations in the messaging and phone apps as well the camera app also got a bit of an update so here's viewing camera mode swipe right to available camera modes viewing camera filters swipe over and switching the camera you can swipe up or down so there's uh, just kind of your motions that you can do to actually get to those various options. So here's uh, more modes. You can download it. Of course, you do have your pro mode. And then here's all those filters as well. And you see much less going on up at the top. So a lot more uh, simple and a lot easier to use. Of course, it's going to work very well. I mean, I really do love the camera on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. It's one of the best out there right now. You see HDR auto mode. You can go ahead and do a quick flip with that button, or of course you can swipe up or down, and a quick settings button as well to get into uh, multiple settings for the camera. Moving along, the settings app got a bit of an overhaul. So a new look, more things categorized a little bit differently, and some new settings as well. So you'll see here, I go into display, of course, that blue light filters there. You can change your screen resolution. So you'll see I'm on 1080p right now, Let's go ahead and apply it to 1440p. So there you have it. You can change that on the fly. Of course, battery life is going to be a little bit different. Uh, things are going to look better, of course, when the screen resolution goes up. But going back into those display settings, one other one I would like you guys to try out, just test it out for a day and see what you think, uh, is the screen zoom option. You have an option to go to uh, small, medium, or large. And I recommend, at least on the S7 Edge, maybe not so much on the S7, trying out the small setting. And it's going to look a little bit odd at first. So if I go ahead and apply it, you'll see just more uh, settings are on this home screen. Whereas on the smaller display on the S7, it may not be 
as uh, as applicable and you may not want to actually do it, but let's go ahead and apply it on both of them so you can kind of take a look at the home screen as well. It just adds more icons in a uh, bigger space, I guess, when you change it to that smaller setting. So definitely give it a try, see if you like it. The recent app screen got a bit of an update, so it just looks and acts a little bit different. You'll see it kind of swipes through a little bit differently. And of course, you do have multi-window still. That function is still there. If I go ahead and press the multi-window option, tap on it on an app right there, and it brings up a list of other apps that I can open in that multi-window. So now you'll see that the, you can resize specific apps with this middle icon. If you tap on the middle, it brings up, you can still flip flop them. And then of course, if you tap this icon, it just kind of brings it in that pop out window. So instead of actually swiping down from the corner of the app, you can go ahead and activate pop out window with that. You can minimize them still and they activate those little bubbles that you can swipe around. And then of course, if I expand it, I can do so. Now again, like I said, you can still go ahead and swipe from the corner to activate that pop out window. So that option is still there. A uh, really great feature of uh, that Samsung adds to the Android operating system that I kind of wish was on stock Android. Next, there's sort of an alt tab function. If you're in an app, you can go ahead and tap the recent apps button twice and it's quickly swaps between two apps. Very easy to multitask this way. You'll see it's very, very quick, works very well. Um, and then of course you have your new emojis. Um, so you go ahead and tap on the emoji button in the Samsung uh, keyboard and here they are. A little bit different what depending on the keyboard that you're actually going to use but uh, here are all the new emojis of course you can press and hold on them and I believe you get to different colored emojis if you'd like to new styles Android 7 out of Nougat brings some new emojis of course on the edge you still have those edge panels that you can uh, apps edge tasks edge people edge you'll see news and of course you can add specific ones if you'd like to and download other ones device maintenance sports all that good stuff. So those are still there on Nougat. Really haven't changed too much. The screenshot interface got a bit of an update. So home and power button to take the screenshot. And here it is. Tap to scroll, draw, crop, and share as well. So a little bit different. And you'll see they it did go away pretty quickly. So you kind of got to act upon it pretty quick. Jumping back into display settings. The always on display got a little bit more layouts. So you can go ahead and customize it to your liking. So some various... A layouts that got a little added to uh, Nougat. You can also jump into advanced features to get to your various settings such as quick launch camera, one-handed mode, palm swipe. Those are all right here in those settings. So those did not get removed whatsoever. Now if I swipe down, you'll see there's a new performance mode that you can just activate where you have game, enhance your gaming experience, entertainment as well, and high performance as well. So high performance, you'll see increased brightness 10% and goes to the full display resolution. Um, you can cancel that entertainment, 10% battery life. Just gives you information about what it's actually going to do when you switch between these modes. Uh, game mode actually jump bumps it down to 1080p, so it makes it a little bit more smoother because, of course, you have a lower resolution. But anyways, that's about it. That would be the Android 7.0 Nougat update on both the Galaxy S7 Edge and the S7. Again, click that subscribe button so you're notified when I make that revisited video. More videos to come as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.